As Evan mentioned, my name is Mikkel Cho, and I'm the founder and CEO of Unsplash. We're a photography company based up in sunny Montreal. Uh, so just a quick recap of what Unsplash is. We offer free do-whatever-you-want photos. Uh, what the do-whatever-you-want part means is you can take them and use them for anything commercially, personally. There's no strings attached. We see Unsplash as a cross between an image network and stock media company. So where image networks are great is creating a connection, and stock media companies are great at cultivating usable supply. Unsplash combines the best of both to create a network that pushes the impact of photography further than ever before. On Unsplash, we serve over 1.5 billion images a month, and a photo viewed on Unsplash is seen more than any other photography platform. Today, I'm just going to talk a bit about how we got to where we are, the lessons we've learned from our over 40,000 contributors, and what this all might mean for the future of visual media. It starts with a couple ac happy accidents. So though Unsplash and Montreal are both in my bio, I consider both to be happy accidents. Eight years ago, I took a one-way bus to Montreal from my hometown of Wisconsin to be with my now wife. Uh, I didn't quite know the level of impact that French had there, so it was actually really difficult for me to find a job. I was fortunate to find work at an agency and it was here that I noticed all the problems with how creative work gets done. So shortly after, I left with a few of my coworkers, and we started a company called Crew. The premise was simple. Connect vetted web and mobile designers with short-term quality projects. Though it might sound simple, the execution wasn't so easy. Like many young companies, we ran into a lot of unexpected challenges. We changed business models twice and almost ran out of money, so we needed to figure out a weird way to grow. Around the same time, we were designing the first version of our website, and the one thing we were missing was a photo. We scoured all the stock photography sites, but everything felt either too cheesy or too expensive. When you layered on all the confusing licenses, we didn't think there was any way that we were going to find the right photo that we needed. So instead, we hired a photographer and shot our own. So our homepage was in a good spot, but then we had all these leftovers. And we thought, and rather than let these go to waste, I'm sure the people building websites on Crew are running into this same problem. So we took the photos, put them up on a $19 Tumblr blog in an afternoon. We were actually so ashamed of the product that we didn't share it with anyone. Uh, we only put it in one place, on the online community called Hacker News. Now, we didn't expect anything, but on the first day, there was over 20,000 downloads of those photos, and Unsplash went to the number one spot. Even better, Crew went from almost zero projects to almost a million dollars in project flow, all from Unsplash, in less than five months. So we kept operating Crew and Unsplash under the radar, but it quickly became too good to ignore. After six months, we had over a million downloads on 150 photos, then 10 million downloads in a year on 360 photos, to over 100 million downloads to date on over 200,000 photos. These images started popping up at marquee conferences, in album cover art for multi-platinum singles, on Apple's iPad Pro demo, documenting another type of historic launch from SpaceX, even our first selfie coming from NASA. So last month, we made the big decision to close crew and go all in on Unsplash. What's driving this level of adoption? We've put our finger on two trends. First, our world is becoming increasingly visual. Over 84% of all communication will be visual by next year. More and more people need images to do their jobs today. But as we need more images, finding sophisticated visuals is becoming increasingly complex. The quality of the mobile device camera has increased 5x since 2007. This puts a professional level camera in everyone's pocket. What this means is everyone with a smartphone is in a way becoming a photographer. 
In fact, over 80% of the contributors on Unsplash consider themselves amateurs, not photographers. These are all photos shot by people who think of themselves as hobbyists, not professionals. But we see Unsplash as being more than just about free photos. We see it as a new kind of image platform, one that pushes the power of photography further than ever before. How we do this is we take a photo through an unprecedented journey. First, it starts on unsplash.com, where our community curates and helps expose the most inspiring images. Then we push that through our Unsplash properties, including our internet browser and Apple TV applications. Even further, we move that through over 7,000 API partner applications, including Envision, Trello, and Weebly. And finally, onto millions of creative acts, including graphic designs, digital products, and blog posts. What this creates is not the come and go nature of the feeds that we see in so much of social media today. On Unsplash, there's a unique staying power for an image. An image featured on Unsplash will be downloaded over 100,000 times and viewed by more than 20 million people. So while Unsplash has become a new source of meaning for many people, the one thing it is not is stock photography. Stock photography is powered by commerce, whereas Unsplash is powered by emotion. The reason people give photos to Unsplash is because it means something bigger. And people use these photos because they feel as though they've been given a gift. As Lawrence Lessig said, Unsplash is an incredible collection of beautiful gifts. So Unsplash is not a marketplace for stock photography. It is a marketplace for gifting. While we don't know exactly where the photography and industry is going to end up, what we do know is that creation often starts with a visual. So rather than extract the remaining value that exists in the photo, our aim is to push the photo even further to create more opportunities for both photographers and the expanding creative class. So thanks again for having me. Uh, that's my Twitter handle, at Mikel Cho.